Well, I guess it's a little after 10. I'd call this special meeting of the Ramsey County Commission to order. Uh, we have a, a very short agenda. We'll stick to it. Uh, we shouldn't take a whole lot of time. First item for business. Hope everybody's had an opportunity to take a look at Dr. Carey's resignation letter. Um, unfortunately, she will be leaving us. Uh, she's been appointed to the Northeast uh, Dist Judicial District by Governor Burgum. Uh, effective February 1st, so her last day in office will be January 29th for Ramsey County. So, uh, congratulate Carrie on her appointment and position. It's a great professional and personal opportunity for her, but we hate to see her go. So if I'm looking at the agenda correctly, uh, we should probably have a motion to accept the letter of resignation. I'll uh, I'll make the motion to accept the letter of resignation uh, hesitantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'll hesitantly second. Regretfully second. Yeah, regretfully is the right word. Yeah. All right, it's been moved and seconded that we approve the uh, letter of resignation from State's Attorney Carrie Godness. All those. Uh, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Uh, the next item of business would be the job application. Uh, and that's kind of the importance of this meeting and why we're doing it today instead of waiting until Tuesday. It, was, uh, it gives us some extra time to get it uh, posted and published. And uh, we have to have it published for 10 business days. And uh, timing is certainly of the essence with this, uh, as that office is extremely busy. And uh, Crystal, if you wanna go through a, a few things on the job application and the duties and deadlines of that the commission needs to take a look at. Sure, can you hear me okay? Okay, I, um, so what I did, I Candy got me the posting for when Carrie was hired and we took, I went off of that and then added a few others from uh, areas that I thought I, um, that should be added. And then Carrie, I had Carrie take a look at it and review it to make any adjustments. So that's, that's kind of the basics. The, um, the part that the preferred qualifications are minimum qualifications, if there's anything in there that you guys want to change, like having that three years of experience. Um, I had it at five and Carrie thought three would probably be a little better. I know other counties, um, when I looked at their state's attorney postings, they were at about seven years. So I'll just to give you a rough estimate. And then I have Adam down as the contact if there's any questions. I don't know if Adam, if you wanna be left as that, just pertaining to the job itself. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess that's fine. I, okay. I don't know what I can tell him, but I'll try. Okay. And then another question, I don't know if you guys want letter of recommendation submitted with their resumes, or if you just wanna go off a of reference check um, alone. So that would be another area that you guys could decide on. I think I think I would appreciate having like two professional references included. Okay. Yeah, I'd I would agree with that. Yeah, I think references is fine because then we can always check into them once we get to the to the preferred candidates at the at the end then or or check in at the finalists or whatever. Okay, so on the application, they actually put down three references, and then um, we can also make it a requirement though that they submit two letter two letters of recommendations with their application packet. 
Yes, please. I, I would appreciate that. that. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That sounds good. And then the other part me and Jeff kind of visit about was um, the part where it's confident, an applicant is confidential until they become a finalist. And so that piece we'll have to be careful with. Um, so we kind of visited about uh, just having one or two commissioners in the in doing the scoring of the candidates that sees you know all the applicants, and then it would go over to the board, and you you could do an executive session if you wanted to um, to discuss all applicants, but we'd want to make sure that the finalists um, applicants are the only ones that would be public. So, otherwise, I don't know if you guys have any questions about the job duties or anything else listed. And the timeline for, as we approve this today, the timeline or the deadline for the applications would be the uh, 4 p.m. 28th. Is that correct, Crystal? Yeah. Yep, so we'll get it if you guys approve it today, we'll get I'll get it out today. And then um the twenty eighth will be the um deadline at four PM and then I would get all the information if you guys decide to just have one or two commissioners involved in the scoring, I'd get that information over to them by that Friday so they have time to review it. How many what, what do you mean by having just one or two commissioners involved in the scoring? Is that one or two commissioners interview? No, no. so all, all commissioners would interview, but just pulling out the finalists of who they inter who the board interviews. I wouldn't want to why wouldn't you want to use all commissioners? Well, That's what we've done in the past and it's worked. Yeah, and if you do do that, then um, you would have to go into an executive session to discuss all applicants because it wouldn't be for public knowledge. All applicants, it's just the finalists that are for public knowledge. Or that I, think we, public. I think we did that last time. Okay. Went into executive session. I don't know if you were here then, were you? No, I wasn't when you hired Carrie. If I remember oh. right, maybe Adam remembers, but I think we went into executive session and do discuss it. I can't recall if we did or not, to be honest, but I mean, we could do it. I would be fine with that too. If we want to, if we want to have all the applications in, is that, what, what day is the 28th, Crystal? I think that's a Thursday. That's a Thursday. Thursday. So then we could, we could wait, or it just depends on what the, what timeline we want, but we could meet an executive session and score everything and then figure out who we want to bring in as finalists and then, and then try to set up, uh, uh, interviews with whatever we'd like for finalists, two or three or whatever. We're, I can't remember what Century Code states. You can only have so many finalists, but we usually only bring in three anyway. So, mm -hmm. uh, we use the next or something like that. I, I would be. Fine. I kind of think that timeline is pretty aggressive. The twenty eighth of January. I could see us stretching it out another week. I don't know. Is that, is that normal now? I, I guess. For the advertisement? Yes. Um, so in our in our policy, we say that we'll at least have it out for 10 day business days. So it's up to you guys if you want to leave it out longer. Well, the maybe, other, that's, maybe that's all right, I guess. Well, the other option I guess I was thinking would be is if we're planning to go into executive session to score it, it probably makes sense to do it on the second anyway at our first meeting in February because we're going to be picking finalists that day then. You could just leave the, you could leave the uh, uh, applications open until the day before the meeting, basically. So give them a few extra days if that's what our yeah. plan would be. I mean, I think the thought process was that open going to have a one or two people score them, which give them time to an order previous to the meeting. But if we're going to score them as a group, we might as well let them have a little more time to to get applications in, and then we can. It meet an executive session on the second, score them, and, and then hopefully set up interviews for the week following or later that week or whatever we can get people in, I guess. So basically leave it open until the 30th so that uh, there's time, a day in there for to review. 
Yeah, thirtieth first, something like that. Just sounds good to me. <laughs> so then, all commissioners, you wouldn't get that information until that meeting of the on the second to look at all the applications. Okay. Is yeah, because we can't, thinking? we can't. Well, we can't put it in a packet because if it's in a packet, that's public information, and we have to be able to keep everything uh, documented behind, it, uh, and, and then only release um, the finalists. So. We'll have to just look over the documents that day then, I suppose. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm muted. I, I was muted, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess the motion we would need then is to uh, go ahead with the advertisement with the money changes that we put in for uh, letters of recommendation along with references and then as uh, a deadline then for February 1st. If that's what the board would like to do. I'll, I'll make that motion. Can I, can I really quickly, um, can we do it like January 31st? That's Sunday because then that gives me Monday to pull all the applications together and get it ready for the board on Tuesday morning. I, th I think that would be a better a better timeline. Um, better go the, maybe better go to the 30th. I don't think you want to put it on Sunday. That's why I was saying it's the 30th so it gives right me a Yeah. Okay. 30th is fine. Okay, well then uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and amend my motion uh, that, that we close applications on the 30th uh, and that we have uh, two letters of applic or two letters of recommendation included uh, with the applications. I'll second that. Okay. Okay, any further discussion? We have a motion and a second to approve the uh, job posting for the state's attorney. Uh, and with the deadline date of Saturday, January 30th. Any further discussion? Just really quick, can I um, let you know where I was planning on posting it all and see if you guys have any thoughts of anywhere else that you'd like to see it? Um, I, we kind of ran this by Carrie also, but of course it's going to go on our web, Ramsey website, the Facebook page, Job Service indeed the association of counties the paper and carrie had mentioned the state bar association website and the uh supreme court webpage. anywhere else that you guys would like to see it i think that all sounds good sounds good okay. any further discussion on the motion if not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. That's all we have on our uh, agenda for the special meeting today. I want to thank everybody for taking the time. Uh, I know it was kind of a last minute deal, but as I mentioned, uh, timing is really of the essence with this thing. And we've been uh, painted in the corner with our timeline. And uh, thing that we'll have to discuss on Tuesday is how we move forward with an interim uh, office uh, in the state's attorney's office. So, because um, those ca those caseloads will not stop just because uh, Carrie is no longer there. So. Um, and I know Carrie has reached out and and looked at some some additional help in there in on the interim basis. So we can discuss that on Tuesday. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. Thanks everybody, have a great weekend. Thank you. Here's all. Meetings adjourned.